ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತೌ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ಲೋಮವದ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಹುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವದೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತೋ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಸ್ತು ಬಂತಾದಿರ್ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತು ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತದ್ವೀಪ ಮೇ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಠ ಈ ಸೋ ದಿ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಭೂತ ಗ್ರಾಮಸ್ಯ ಭೂತ್ವ ಭೂತ್ವ ಪ್ರಲೀಯತೆ ರಾತ್ರಾಗಮೇ ಅವಶ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಪ್ರಭ ಪ್ರಭವತ್ಯಹರಾಗಮೇ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಚತುರ್ಮುಖ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ the world of people or the world of beings rather the universe of all beings in all lokas they wake up with brahma's world they are born with brahma's waking up and they are resolved with brahma's sleeping <coughs> at the end of the day and how avashaha without any control without any influence of their own their free will has no say over there whether you want it or not you are under the influence of this vyavastha and what should this lead to bhagwan bhashyakara se sansare vairagya pradarshanartham cha idamah that was one of the reasons why this 19 shloka was narrated the other i reasons were also given by bhagwan bhashyakara we saw that in the last patha now the next shloka is introduced by saying yat upanyastam <coughs> aksharam that imperishable brahma tattva which was elaborated earlier yat upanyastam yat aksharam upanyastam purvam earlier which was uh, narrated introduced and elaborated across chapters but here in this chapter tasya prapti upaya nirdishtah the means to attain that brahma was mentioned here was shown how in the 13 shloka of this very 8th chapter om iti ekaksharam brahma ityadina through that 13 shloka om iti ekaksharam brahma at the end this omkara should be chanted with the paramatma in mind atha idanim thereafter now aksharasya eva that akshara which was this om iti ekaksharam brahma as a prapti upaya for that akshara parabrahma tattva was mentioned tasseva aksharasya parabrahmanah eva swarupa nirdidikshaya idam uchyate ಸ್ವರೂಪ ನಿರ್ದಿಕ್ಷಯ ನಿರ್ದೇಷ್ಟು ಇಚ್ಛಯ ಸನಂತ ಧಾತು ಹಿಯರ್ ಸನಂತ ಧಾತು ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಸನಂತ ಶಬ್ದ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ನಿರ್ದಿಕ್ಷ ನಿರ್ದಿದಿಕ್ಷಯ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ನಿರ್ದೇಷ್ಟು ಇಚ್ಛಯ ಟು ಶೋ ದಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ with that intention with that desire to show the nature of brahma to reveal the nature of the brahma it was revealed in gita across these many chapters the same brahma tattva is being elaborated in various ways now this is contrasted with the uh, prakriti which was mentioned earlier which is also avyakta unmanifest prakriti this brahma tattva is also unmanifest what is manifest is objectifiable what is unmanifest is not objectifiable 
Maya or Prakriti is not objectifiable, but that Para Prakriti, which is Brahma, not Apara Prakriti, Apara Prakriti is Maya or Avidya, the unmanifest. And Para Prakriti is, Swayam Krishna says that I am that Para Prakriti, which is Parabrahma Tattva. That is also unmanifest because it is not manifest. Whatever is manifest, that is objectifiable. Whatever is not manifest or whatever is not objectifiable is unmanifest. So not only Maya is unmanifest, but Brahma Tattva is also avyakta, unmanifest. So what is the difference between the Para and Para and Apara Prakruti, between the two avyaktas? How do you differentiate between, between the two? So that is clarified here in the next next shloka atha idanim aksharasya swarupa nirdikshaya idam ucchate anena yoga margena idam gantavyam iti through this yoga marga which has been discussed here with omkara chanting omkara and keeping bhagavan in mind when one drops of the sharira then one merges with bhagavan merging means figurative or if Gati is involved in, in the without Jnana, through Upasana, if one quits the Sharira, then through Brahma Loka, there is Krama Mukti. So, Anena Yoga Margana Idam Gantavyam Iti Parastasmatubha Vanyo Vyakto Vyakta Sanatanaha Yasa Sarveshu Bhuteshu Nashyatsuna Vinashyati So, Paraha, 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 okay, I am using the, since we are doing on Google Doc, I am using the, those keys. So, Paraha, Tasmat, Paraha, Tasmat, 2, 2 is the contrast, 2 is showing, on the other hand, Paraha, Bhavaha Paraha Tasmat tu Bhavaha Anyaha Avyaktaha Avyaktat Sanatanaha Yaha Saha Sarveshu Bhushi Bhuteshu Nashyatsuna Vinashyati. So Paraha Tasmat Panchami tu Avyaya Bhavaha existent Anyaha Another Avyaktaha unmanifest compared to avyakta another so whatever avyakta has been discussed as prakriti avyakta anyaha avyakta tasmad avyakta anyaha avyakta paraha what is that to that bhavaha whereas this, this avyakta paraha is bhavaha another Superior also, but another, another, anyaha so another, but paraha is that parabrahma, paraha avyakta, paraha avyakta compared to this apara avyakta. And sanatanaha, nityaha ityartha, sanatana always existent, bhavaha as well as sanatanaha. Yaha and what is the difference between that, that avyakta and this avyakta which is parabrahma tattva. Yaha saha sarveshu bhuteshu sarveshu bhuteshu nashyatsu bhuteshu sarveshu nashyatsu bhuteshu nashyat is shatranta among all the nashyat bhutas na vinashyati na vinashyati this bhava will never perish will never get destroyed. So what is the Anvaya here? Tasmat, Tasmat to Avyaktat, Anyaha, Paraha Bhavaha, Paraha, uh, Anyaha Avyaktaha, Paraha. Paraha bhava. It is an existent and paratattva. 
and also what sanatanaha will fix the anvaya yaha so tasmatu avyaktat yaha anyaha avyaktaha anyaha paraha sanatanaha avyaktaha bhavaha we can add that avyaktaha bhav bhava avyaktaha little difficult to make this bhava well to put bhava ya anya bhavaha ya anya paraha sanatana bhava or ya anya avyakta we can say ya anya avyakta sah paraha sanatana bhavaha sarveshu bhuteshu what kind of bhutas sarveshu nashyatsu bhuteshu na vinashyati so tasmat tu avyaktat yah anyah avyaktah sa paraha sanatanaha bhavah sarveshu nashyatsu bhuteshu na vinashyati this is the anvaya one of the anvayas further avyakto akshara ityuktas tasma tama sorry avyakto akshara ityuktah tam ahu paramangatim yam prapya na nivartante taddhama paramam mama so avyaktah akshara avyaktah akshara iti uktah it has been said that very uktam uktam tam ahuhu paramam gatim ahuhu so avyaktah aksharah iti uktah tam in second case tam ahuhu de say that it is what paramagati परमाम गतिम आहुहु कर्मा टू आहुहु देर फोर सेकेंड किस यम प्राप्य हैविंग अटेंड विच प्राप्य इज लेबंता न निवर्तन्ते न निवर्तन्ते तत तत धाम परमम मम is this right <coughs> are the cases right no what is this dhama any idea anyone so that is there it can be first case second case both यम प्राप्य न निवर्तन्ते कैन एनी वन ड्वेलिंग या दैट इज ओके आई एम नॉट आस्किंग फॉर द मीनिंग व्याकरण व्हाट इज द व्याकरण फॉर इट व्हाट इज दैट धाम व्हाट इज द प्रातिपदिक व्हाट इज द प्रातिपदिक फॉर धाम वेयर यू सी इन दिस कर्ड फॉर डिक्लिनेशन परमम बट धाम दे आर इन सामनाधिकरण्यम वाय परम एंड ओनली धाम वाय नॉट धाम वॉट इज ए अंत वॉट इज ए प्रातिपदिक सेट दिस इज अ व्याकरण क्लास एज वेल नीड सम व्याकरण वंस इन अ वैल आई डोंट सी अ लॉट ऑफ होमवर्क कमिंग इन सो सम ऑफ दिस वी कैन डू इट ड्यूरिंग द क्लास वंस इन अ वैल Anyone? Dhamma. What is the ending of dhamma? Where do you see this kind of an ending? Dhamma. Is it an avyaya or is it a declined word? Avyaya is also a declined word, but is it? Say this is first case. Let's say this is first case. Where do you see this kind of a ending? This paramam is like phalam. Let's say paramam is neuter like phalam. 
tat paramam so tat is neuter paramam is neuter this is also neuter first case but why dhama what, what kind of an ending what is the pratipadika that is my interest anyway think about it so mama parama paramam dhama bhavati so what is the anvaya anvaya here अव्यक्त अक्षर उक्त तम परमा यू कैन सी एड यहायर परमाम गतिम गतिम आहुहु सो आहु यू हैव टू सप्लाई सम कर्ता इफ नीड बी सो लेट्स लुक एट भाष्य व्हाट डज भगवान भाष्यकार है सप्लाई देयर यो असौ अव्यक्त अक्षर इत सो यज एडेड हियर तमे अक्षर संयक अव्यक्त भाव आहु परमाम प्रकृष्टा गति सो इट डज नॉट सप्लाय एनी कर्ता यू कैन एड एनी कर्ता देर एज टू पंडिता और ज्ञानी एनी ऑफ दिस और इवन स्मृति स्मृत और Smriti is also talk about it. Therefore, smrta yaha ahu can be said, or pandita yaha ahu, some karta can be added if we need. Otherwise, not needed. Those who know about it, that's what is to be understood here. Avyakta akshara iti yaha ukta ha yaha aksh. Tam tam avyakta maksharam paramam gatim ahu hu. They say that that avyakta which is the akshara avyakta now why akshara avyakta here earlier it was differentiated so when you said uh, avyakta akshara iti ukta this paraha avyakta which is anya from the maya or the apara avyakta this this is akshara thereby maya is also akshara a maya is not really akshara it is uh, it is what is called as uh, uh, there is a word for that i'm just recalling so uh, it is it is not nitya really but it is uh, uh, what is the word for that it is parinami nitya that's one way it is said parinami nitya and the other way to say it there is uh, uh it is since since maya becomes manifest in each and every kalpa therefore it's like the flow of the river so it is like the uh, flow of the river that nityatvam is not the nityatvam the way this akshara tvam or nityatvam is there for para para avyakta it is not the same so it is parinami it undergoes change therefore that nityatvam and uh, aksharatvam cannot be true because it is Made up of three gunas. Thereby, you cannot just uh, say that both avyaktas are same. Parinami uh, nityatvam, and I am just trying to. If it comes to mind, I'll let you know. But otherwise, parinami nityatvam is sufficient uh, for to to see that how Maya is different, how the two avyaktas dif- are differing from each other. so uh, other words are say uh, savikara so it can also be say maya avyakta is savikara it is jada and it is savayava savayavi maya is savayavi so ya kutastha kutastha nityatvam so kutastha nityatvam is another word used there parinami nityatvam kutastha nityatvam uh, in comparison so brahma is kutastha but uh, Maya is not kutastha. Maya is parinami nitya. Uh, 
वेर एज माया इज सविकार ब्रह्म इज निर्विकार माया इज जड़ा ब्रह्म इज चेतना माया इज सावयवी वेर एज ब्रह्म इज निरवयवी देर फोर दीज आर दी वेरियस डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन दी टू अव्यक्त बोथ आर अनमैनिफेस्ट बिकॉज बोथ के नॉट बी ऑब्जेक्टिफाइड बट देर इज अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस वन इज परिणामी नित्य अदर इज इज कूटस्थ नित्य कूटवत तिष्टती कूटस्थ कूटवत लाइक अ कूटा इट इट रिमेन्स कूटा इज लाइक एन एनवेल ऑन विच दी आयन स्मिथ ही हिट्स एंड शेप्स आयन बट देन इन कंपेरिजन इन कंपेरिजन टू दी आयन दैट इज शेपिंग दी एनवेल does not get affected it doesn't change that is the only uh, comparison in the example we should not take the example literally and say that even the anvil is uh, uh, is undergoing some change or it is also changing shape across a long period of time so avyaktha aksharah iti yah uktah tam paramam gati mahudher by this nitya कूटस्थ नित्य अव्यक्त पर भाव एंड इट इज अव इट इज भाव वेर एज अव्यक्त द अदर अव्यक्त माया अव्यक्त इज नॉट रियली भाव इट इज इट इज नॉट अभाव ऑल्सो इट इज भाव अभाव्याम अनिर्वचनीय इट इज इट कैनॉट बी सेट टू बी रियली भाव पदार्थ इट कैनॉट बी सेट टू बी अभाव पदार्थ देन वॉट इज इट इट इज अनिर्वचनीय सो माया और दैट अव्यक्त फ्रॉम विच दिस पर ब्रह्म तत्व अव्यक्त इज डिफरेंशिएटेड दैट अव्यक्त माया अव्यक्त इज अनिर्वचनीय वेर एज दिस इज दी सद वस्तु देर फोर इट इज भाव विच वॉज सीन अर्लियर दिस भाव देर वाय पर गति माहू देर इज दिस अव्यक्त विच इज जनरली यूज इज फॉर माया and merging into that is also an upasana i had mentioned it in passing earlier i may have mentioned it that people who uh, do prakriti upasana there is prakriti upasana whereby they do want to merge in prakriti and just be jada like in shushupti avastha they just want to be merged without any samsara they are not even interested in mukti really because that is what is considered as mukti by them i just want to sleep people say that i mean i'm tired i want to sleep similarly merging with avyakta for a long time is also merging with ananda ananda itself but then the avidya continues so that is not paragati that is not paramagati paramagati is that paramam dham thereby this uh, para paramagati is akshara which is avyakta akshara iti yukta that avyakta which is akshara na kshrati iti akshara nanta purusha thereby that becomes paramagati and attaining which yam so yam will go with this uh, ukta tam paramagati is is predicated and since gati is trilinga parama is trilinga but the same pullinga here akshara ha is predicated as trilinga here yam prapya yam aksharam avyaktam aksharam prapya na nivartante and having attained which tam paramam gati ahu and then yam yam aksharam which is aksharam aksharam avyaktam prapya न निवर्तन्ते ज्ञानी न निवर्तन्ते तत् मम परमं धाम भवति सो भवति कैन बी सप्लाइड हियर सो एनी धाम इज इज लाइक विच वर्ड nobody has ya dhaman ya yeah, i didn't see that ya dhaman nakaranta so dhaman is the pratipadika like which other word you know dhaman very common word any other word which declines like this dhama 
Dandin is not like that. Danda Syastiti Dandin in any Matupante uh, Matuparthe ini Pratya. Naman, yeah, Naman is right. Naman is right down. Karma. See, most common meaning is karma. <coughs> karma karmani karmani. So what is the ending of karma? Kar isn't karma the most common word? So anyway, uh, so karma, karma prati pariyudha karman. <coughs> Nakaranta. Okay. So dhama tad. Mama Paramam Dhamma Bhavati. So that Parama Dhamma, Dhamma dwelling is right or uh, abode. Same meaning, dwelling abode, however you want to translate it. I'll keep it as Dhamma. You understand the meaning as Dhamma? Sufficient enough. Tallabdhe Upayaha Uchyate. What is the means to attain that? Tallabdhe. Tallabdhe is Akshara Labdhe. For the Upalabdhe or for the Labha of that gati parama gati or akshara and since gati if it is parama gati which is something see gati there are two ways you can see gati for krama mukti for upasakas gati is real as in there is travel involved real in the sense vyavaharika satta whereas if gati can also mean jnana and here it will be Chitsvarupa. So that Chitsvarupa itself is the Paramagati. There no Gati or no travel is involved. Because it is it is your Sarupa. To go to the Sarupa you don't have to attain anything. It is Praptasya Prapti. So it is to remove the misunderstanding. Remove the misunderstanding that I am something else. I am these koshas. I am someone who is associated with this kosha. All that misunderstanding should be dropped. And that error being recognized, that itself is realization of Swarupa. So that's another way you can see. So both are meant here uh, based on which prakriya you take. As in you take the, as it is for the upasaka, yam prapya. Upasakaha na nivartante, then that paramagati is to be attained. Gati is involved. If you see it is as jnaninaha na uh, yam prapya naninaha na nivartante aksharam, then there the attainment is figurative because attainment is dropping of the misunderstandings. So tallabdhe upayaha uchyati. Now this upaya also, what is this upayaha for tallabdhi? Whether it is really gati or not gati, is it through jnana? So that we will see in the second, 22nd shloka. Purushasapara partha bhaktya labhyasthvananyaya yasyantasthani bhutani yena sarvamidantatam. So here also both can be seen. But here we see jnana. Purushaha saha saha purushaha saha paraha he partha Sambodhana he partha bhaktya saha purusha purana purusha tu ananyaya bhaktya labhya attainable again labhya ananyaya bhaktya yasya antasthani now ananyaya bhaktya that purusha who is this purusha Purushayanat or Purana. Purushayanat, Puranatva, Purushaha. Yasya, Yasya Purushasya, Yasya Purushasya, Antasthani Bhutani. Bhutani, Antasthani Bhavanti. All these Bhutas are within. They are within. They are Kalpita within. That Ishwara imagines the Prapancha, that, that Jnanena. Jnana maya tapaha. So tapaha, how is that creation? It is said that, in Anuparishad says that there is tapas involved and after tapaha, there is srishti. And Bhagavan Bhashyakara glosses over it as saying that Jnana maya tapaha. Yasya tapaha Jnana maya. It is only Jnana. Because it is the srishti is also what? It is 
not real, it is not Parinami. Maya is brought in to explain the Karya through Nirguna, there cannot be any Karya. Nirguna cannot be, be Karana at all. Therefore, Maya is brought in as a Parinami Upadana Karana. Otherwise, Nirguna Brahma is a Vivrata Upadana Karana. Vivrata, uh, the efficient cause, really, not even material cause. Then we say it is Abhinna Nimitta Upadana Karana. So, the Vivrata Nimitta Karana is Nirguna Brahma, but we see change in Karya, there we see objectifiable change which is not there in Nirguna, which is not possible in Nirguna. So, Maya is brought in as a material cause, although Ishwara is Abhinna Nimitta Upadana Karana, that Ishwara's Nirgunattam, which is the refuting the Sagunattam through Maya, what Sarupa of Ishwara is there, that is Nimitta Karana. Whereas, and then Karanattam is also refuted. Otherwise, Ishwara is Abhinna, Nimitta Upadana Karana, because Maya is also his own Shakti. Thereby, Maya is said to undergo changes, whereas Nirguna does not undergo changes, because there are no Gunas to undergo change. Maya is the Gunatmika. Thereby, the Gunas undergo change, and then there, thereby we see Karya having such a variety, tending to infinity, but all this is what? You don't need any material cause also really, because all this is in Bhagwan's mind. Yasya Antastani Bhutani. In Dakshinamurti Sutra also, the first loka itself tells you that all this is Bahi Iva. So, Vishwam Darpana Drishyamana Nagri Tulyam Nija Antargatam. Antastani is Nija Antargatam. It's all Antargata and uh, Vishwam Darpana Drishyamana Nagri Tulyam Nijantar Gatam Pashyan Atmani Maya Bahirivo Udhutam Yatha Nidraya Just like in Nidra it is seen outside, the dream world which is there within is seen outside. Similarly, Ishwara himself creates within and sees as the outside and thereby becomes Jiva. And then many Jivas because in dream there is one Jiva who is dreaming but then there are many out of which with one he has association and that Jiva Bhava. And then the Prapancha is seen outside although it is within. Similarly, Ishwar also does that. Antastani Bhutani and then all that is created. Yena Sarvam Idam which is objectifiable. Ye Sarvam Idam Tatam. It is all woven. We have seen this in another chapter earlier. Everything is interwoven. So, Isha Vasim idam sarvam tatam bhavati. Sarvam idam, idam sarvam tatam bhavati. Ye na. Which is pervaded. Actually, it is pervaded abhinnataya, that too. Abhinnataya without undergoing any change. Vivrata upa, vivrata nimit, abhi, vivrata and abhinna nimitta upadana karana. That is Ishwara, that is the Purusha, Yasya Purushasya Bhutani Antastani Bhavanti Yena Purushena Idam Sarvam Tatam Bhavati He Partha Saparaha Bhaktya Labhyaha Ananyayatu Bhaktya Labhyaha That Purusha within whom all the Prapancha is along with all the beings who pervades this entire universe, objectifiable universe, how? By himself becoming that. Ishwara himself becomes the prapancha. Because this creation is, is what is within, imagined, within and without is all imagined and that paraha purushaha, how is he attainable? Bhaktya labhyaha. And what, what bhakti? Ananyaya bhaktya. So, this Ananyaya Bhakta is becoming one really. You, you, Ananyaya is not thinking of someone else. Bhaktas, the Dvaita Bhaktas will tell you that. Only Krishna, only Shiva, only Devi, whatever. But Ananyaya Bhaktya, Bhagavan Bhashyakara will tell you is that not different from me. Every Jiva should think that that Purusha is attainable 
by knowing that he is not different from me. Because if he is different, then how will he be infinite? If he is different from the jiva, how will he, he, he will be limited by me? If he is limited by me, he is limited in desha. If he is, uh, if I am different from him, then he is also limited in kala. And also vastu, because the sharira, I, whatever I is made of, of this, the subtlest of the vastus also, will be delimiting Ishwara through vastu also. So there will be all three types of parichheda. He cannot be nitya then. He cannot be, because there cannot be two infinites. There cannot be one infinite and something else, some finite. Even if I am a finite and an alpa jiva, if I am different from him, then it, he cannot be Purna at all. He cannot be uh, Ananta. He will become Antavan. Therefore, Ananyaya Bhaktiya, let us look at what Bhagavan Bhashyakara glosses over as. You also with Ananyaya Yampra. Here, sorry, 20 seconds. Yeah, so Puri Shayanath, so why is it going down again and again? Let me try this. So, Puri Shayanath, Purna, Purnatvadva, Sa Purusha, and then Sa Paraha Partha, Paraha Nirati Shaya, the most superior, Yasmat Purushat Na Param Kinchit. Beyond this Purusha, there is nothing, he is the most superior. Saha bhaktya labhyaha tu jnana lakshanaya ananyaya atma vishayaya. So what is that bhakti? Advaita bhakti. Jnana lakshanaya ananyaya. Atma vishaya. It is that purusha who is atma vishaya. He is atma. Aham aham taya sarvatra bhati. Sarveshu bhuteshu aham aham taya bhati. Who is there in every being as aham, aham, aham. That's how he created the sharira and entered. How? This entering is figurative. Create in, while creating, imagining the prapancha, kalpita prapancha itself, he has become all of that. And thereby the entering also is figurative. Where the Shruti says, anena jivena anupravishya. So having created, how? Anena jivena. Anena jiva bhavena. He, he became the jiva as though. Because one who created, he himself entered figuratively. Therefore, ananyaya bhaktya is jnana lakshanaya atma vishayaya bhaktya. That is the ananya bhakti. And yena. Tatam also, let us finish this. So, yasya purushasya antasthani madhyasthani bhutani karya bhutani karyam hi karanasya antarvarti bhavati. All the karya is within the karana itself. You cannot have a new creation. Even in some manifestation, only what is unmanifest within the karana itself can become manifest in the karya. Therefore, karya was already there in karana. This is satkarya vada. Sankhya also talks about Satkarya Vada. Therefore, Sankhya is the closest. Although Dvaita, still it is closest in uh, this kind of a prakriya, it is closest and Vedanta uses that. Yena Purushena Sarvam Idam Jagat Tatam, meaning Vyaptam, Akashena Iva Ghata Di. Just like Ghata is manifest by Akasha, space. If you put pot, that pot is, is pervaded by space. You cannot see where the pot is. That pot is demarking the space and you cannot say there is a pot space and the total space. The pot space, total space division created by the body of the pot itself is mithya because the body of the pot is also in space. Thereby the space pervades the, the not only the inside of the pot but the pot body itself it pervades thereby idam jagat sarvam jagat purushena yena purushena vyaptam how 
आकाशेन घटादि घटादि यथा व्याप्तम तथा सो दैट इज दी मीनिंग हियर लेट्स मेक एन अन्वया हियर हे पार्थ सह पुरुषः परह भवती यस्य भूतानि सुल्मीक समकरण फोन अनुयायी हैं अंतस्थानी भवंती अंतस्थानी भवंती सो लेट्स से सह वेलेट्स ब्रिंग इट लेटर सो यस्य भूतानि अंतस्थानी भवंती सह पुरुषा पराभवती एंड इक्वल यस भवंती ये ना पुरुषे ना सर्वम इदम सर्वम ततम इदम सर्वम ततम वी कैन ऐड फॉर क्लैरिटी अगेन भवती सो हे पार्थ यस्य भूतानि अंतस्थानी भवंती ये इदम सर्वम ततम भवती सह पुरुषा पराह भवती एंड आल्सो व्हाट सह परह पुरुषा और वी कैन से सह परह पुरुषा वाय भवती सह परह पुरुषा तू अनन्यया भक्त्या भक्त्या लब्ध्या हाँ लेट्स सी हाउ इट रीड्स हे पार्थ यस्य भूता नियंत्रस्थानी भवती ये न इदम सर्वम ततम भवती सह परह पुरुषा तू अनन्यया भक्त्या लब्ध्या हाँ so this is the collection tallabhe upaya ucchate so this is the upaya ananyaya bhaktya ananyaya bhakti is the upaya to attain that and what is that ananyaya bhakti atma jnana we have seen in the bhashya prakrutanam yoginam प्रणवावेशित ब्रह्मबुद्धी नाम कालांतर मुक्ति भाजाम ब्रह्म प्रतिपत्ते उत्तर हा मार्ग हा वक्तव्य हा इति अत्र काले इत्यादि विवक्षितार्थ समर्पणार्थम् उच्चते सो प्रकृत प्रकृतानाम योगिनाम the उपासकास who are a part of this context in this context yogis have been talked about who are उपासकास by saying this, uh, this uh, talking about Omkara, Om Ittyekaksharam Brahma. So thereby Pranava, Pranava is Omkara. Pranava Aveshita Brahma Buddhi Naam. So through Pranava, they denote, Pranava denotes Brahma. Omkara is the name of Brahma. So they, their Buddhi is in Brahma, but through Omkara, because they are doing Upasanas. And thereby what are they going to get? They are also going to get Brahma. Brahma Pratipatti, they will also attain Brahma Jnana, but Kalantar Mukti Bhaj, Bhak, they are Kalantar Mukti Bhak. So, Tesham Kalantar Mukti Bhajam, Brahma Pratipatti, Uttarha Margha Vaktavya, they will have Gati involved because they will attain Krama Mukti and they will attain this Brahma Pratipatti, Brahma Jnana, at a later time, Skalantara, Skalantara Mukti Bhaja, Mukti Bhajate Yeti Mukti Bhaja, I think, Bhaj, yeah, so similar meaning, they will attain Mukti at a later time, in time they will attain it, by attaining Brahma Loka first and then Brahma Pratipatti or Brahma Jnana there, taught by Chaturmukha Brahma. So, Uttara Margha Vaktavya. Uttara Margha is the northern path. The Brahma Loka path is the northern part. Then there is southern path also. There are various uh, paths of travel. Those paths are mentioned here now. They should be talked about. So, Gati. Which Gati? So, uh, people pray in uh, Sampradaya. In our culture, uh, when a person uh, passes on, passes on in English. So, what do we say? 
in uh, they have this modern term now rip so rest in peace they say we don't have anything as rest in peace rest in peace is all foreign to us there is no rest in peace atma is of the swarup of shanta swarup so there is no resting in peace resting in peace is for people who are buried so christians may use that term we should not use it so we see this you know in, in whatsapp and all these groups you see rip 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 all this so we pray for gati let the person get a better gati better gati is through this which uttara marga let the person gets get a better gati better janma let this uh, sausarana fructify into moksha in the end so we want the person to get swarga vaikuntha kailasa all this talk is gati so we pray for a better gati thereby uttara marga vaktavya which is the path of travel of the jiva after leaving the sharira iti yatra kale ityadi yatra kale the next shloka yatra kale ityadi vivakshitartha samarpanartham uchyate what is that idea which has to be talked about for that the next shloka is introduced avruti margo upanyasa itara marga stutyartah so this uh, brahma pratipatti uttara marga is what uttara marga is anavrutti marga the avruti marga is also to be talked about why to praise the itara marga stutyartah itara marga is this uttara marga so avruti marga is mentioned upanyasa is narrated for the glorification of anavrutti marga which is the uttara marga so the sadan path is talked about which is avruti marga meaning the path of return if a person departs through that marga then one will come back will have another janma yet another janma and he'll continue in sausa whereas brahma loka assumption is that the uh, will not come back anavrutti marga which is the uttara marga northern path which is the itara marga and the avruti marga or the sadan path is talked about to glorify the uttara marga where there is no birth again yatra kale tvana vrittim avruttim chaiva yoginah prayata yanti tankalam vakshami bharatarshabh so he bharatarshabh so like a bull among all the bharata vamsh jat All, all those who are born in Bharata Mosha, you are like a bull, meaning the like the bull is noticed uh, in a herd of cows. Similarly, you are noticed in the Bharata Mosha. Says Bhagwan Krishna to Arjuna, "He Bharata Shabha, yatra kale, yasmin kale, or yatra kale." So this kala here can be seen in multiple ways. Kala can be seen as time, literally. like uttarayana dakshinayana these are times literally but kala can also be seen as the devatas that preside that kala that that path is preceded by some devatas therefore therefore also marga is indicated not necessarily the kala literal kala to so, anavruttim so yatra kale tu anavruttim avruttim chaiva cha eva yogina ha prayata ha prayata ha yogina the traveling yogis meaning upasakas after dropping the body yanti they travel gachanti ityartha tam kalam vakshami i will talk about that kala he just says i am going to talk about it so he bharatar he bharatar shabha aham vakshami so that is the basic sentence aham vakshami किम वक्षा कालम वक्षा तम कालम आई विल टॉक अबाउट आई विल टॉक अबाउट लिट लकारा तम कालम विच इज दट काल यत्र काले यत्र काले तो योगिन प्रयाता योगिन द ट्रेवलिंग योगी बिकॉज दे ड्रॉप दी बॉडी एंड ट्रेवल they know how to travel because they know how to quit the body yatra kale tu prayatah yoginah anavrittim avrittincha 
एव ये तो अनावृत्ति आवृत्ति योगी प्रयात आवृत्ति प्रयात आवृत्ति योगी अनावृत्ति आवृत्ति प्रयाता तम काल अहम वक्षा सो दे दे ट्रैवल to come back or to not come back so anavrutti means they don't come back and they prayatah avrutim prayatah they travel to come back that kala i'll talk about not mark mark this uh, i hope this is clear so yatra kale saptami anavrutti avrutim che yoginah prayata this is tinanta uh, so clearly it is second case आवृत्ति एंड अनावृत्ति कर्मा टू प्रयात आई थिंक देन योगिना इज प्रथम बहुवचन लेट्स मार्क इट एनी काले इट विल बी डन इन दैट टाइम एनी सो च एव योगिना प्रयाता समथिंग रॉन्ग विद स्पेस बार सो यांति तम कालम सो ओके आई मिस दी वक्षा हे भरत ऋषभ सो आई मिस दि वर्ड यांति सो लेट शिफ्ट बैक इज प्रयाता हियर प्रयाता योगि यांति सो दैट्स बेटर सो यांति अनावृत्ति आवृत्ति यांति सो आई वॉज आई शिफ्टेड दैट बिकॉज आई मिस दि यांति देर Now we don't need to shift prayata. <coughs> so he paratar paratar shava yatra kali tu prayata ha yogi na anavrtti ma avrtti ma chee va yanti tam kalam aham vakshami. I hope this is clear. Tam kalam ah and that kala he describes in. Let's read this shloka together because it has no other it has no other sangati. अग्निर्ज्योतिरा शुक्ल षण्मासा उत्तरायण त्र प्रयाता गच्छन्ति ब्रह्म ब्रह्म विदो जना भूमो रात्रिस्तथा कृष्ण षण्मासा दक्षिणायन त्र चांद्रम संज्योतिर्योगी प्राप्य निवर्तते शुक्ल कृष्णे गति हेते जगत शाश्वते मते एक यात्यनावृत्ति अन्यवर्तते पुनः नैते श्रृति पार्थ जानन योगी मुह्यति कश्चन योगयुक्तो भवार्जुन सो फोर श्लोका टॉक अबाउट दिस काल तम कालम आह दैट काल भगवान कृष्ण आह टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर दोज अग्नि ज्योति अह शुक्ल षण्मास उत्तरायण ऑल दीज आर वर्ड्स आर उत्तरायण वी नो दिस वर्ड उत्तरायण सो अग्नि ज्योति शुड बी लुक्ड इन टू विल क्विकली गो थ्रू दाष्य बिकॉज अग्नि इज अग्नि इट से अग्नि देवता और अग्नि ही एज अ अभिमानी एज अ एज अ मार्ग अभिमानी देवता सिमिलरली ज्योति ही अह इज दे सो दी उत्तरायण अह विच इज शुक्ल विच इज वाइट सो डे इज वाइट षण्मास सिक्स मंथ्स उत्तरायण इज देर सो दैट इज दी लिटरल काल एंड ज्योति ही अग्नि ही दिस इज ऑल अह दे All these are showing the the bright color or the brightness, jyoti hi roopa, and agni is also the luster. Jyoti is luster, and agni is also the fire is light. So all this uttarayana is the bright part of the year, and that uttarayana is the kala, tam kala maha, literally kala, and agni can also be the. This Uttarayana Marga, where the in the Marga it is the presiding deity. Bhagwan Bhaskara gives both uh, both interpretations. So Tatra Prayata ha Gachanti. So this Prayata ha Upasaka ha uh, or Yogi na ha Tatra Gachanti. They attain that path. So Tatra Gachanti tam Kalam Gachanti thi na. Kala is not exactly that Kala. They attain that Tatra. they they attain that that in that mar marga itself they have their gati 
ब्रह्म ब्रह्म विदो जना प्रयाता योगि गच्छन्ति सो ब्रह्म विद जना गच्छन्ति हु आर दीज उपासक दे आर दीज ब्रह्म विद एंड दिस ब्रह्म विद ऑलो दीज उपासक ऑलो आर कॉल्ड एज ब्रह्म विद विल सी मोर इन दी टेक अप वॉट भगवान भाष्य कर भाष्य देन धूमो रात्रि इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट वॉट इज धूम अस्मो की रात्रि ही नाइट तथा कृष्ण इट इज डार्क एंड इट इज फॉर सिक्स मंथ षण मास दक्षिणायन लिटरली दक्षिणायन इज द डार्क फेस एंड मार्ग तत्र तत्र तस्मिन मार्गे चांद्रमसम चांद्रमसम ज्योति चांद्रमसम ज्योति योगी प्राप्य निवर्तते निवर्तते मीन्स ही कम्स बैक दैट योगी योगी चांद्रमसम ज्योति प्राप्य योगी निवर्तते ही अट इज दैट पाथ ऑफ द मेन्स एंड देन ही रिटर्न that smoky path on which the yogi travels he comes back because he has not attained the brahma loka he attains some other loka and comes back now these are the two paths shukla krishna gati both gati is dual shukla and krishna shukla here and krishna the uttarayana is shukla whereas dakshinayana is krishna shukla krishna is dwandva द्वंद्व सामस गति ड्यूअल सो शुक्ल कृष्ण इतरेतर द्वंद्व शुक्ल कृष्ण गति ही एते एते शुक्ल कृष्ण गति जगत शाश्वते मते दे आर कंसीडर एज बीइंग देयर शाश्वत इज नॉट रियली नित्य इट इज रियली इट इज अ शाश्वत बट मता दे आर कंसीडर्ड एज द पाथ फॉर द वर्ल्ड व्हिच आर देयर परमानेंटली देयर एज लॉन्ग एज द वर्ल्ड इज देयर the universe is there the paths are also there they are subtle we don't know shastra talks about these paths and they are considered as the shashvata paths in comparison to jagat also it is shashvata and as long as jagat is there they are always there they are wrong part of this prapancha itself ekaya yati anavrttim anyaya avartate punah so ekaya shuklaya no, not shuklaya shuklena argena through this shukla gati so shukla gatya we can say shukla gatya shukla krishna gati so we can say shukla and krishna gati shukla here uh, because shukla krishna gati is trilinga and shukla here is pullinga krishna is pullinga but shukla and krishna here making the dual here they are trilinga so shukla krishna gati hi ete Among which this ekaya shuklaya, ekaya shuklaya, anavrtim yati, going to Brahma Loka, one attains anavrtim, na punar avrtim. There, there is no punar avrtana. Brahma Loka and from Brahma Loka at Kalpanta, one is resolved. So yanti, uh, yati, since singular here, and then an, anyaya, anyaya, Krishna ya gatya. आवर्तते पुनः आवर्तते दे कम बैक और वन कम्स बैक पुनः आवर्तते सिंगुलर सो वन कम्स बैक हियर इट इज इन प्लूरल गच्छंती हियर इट इज इन सिंगुलर देन न एते श्रुति श्रुति द पाथ अगेन मार्ग ड्यूअल हियर अगेन एते श्रुति हे पार्थ जानन हे पार्थ एते श्रुति जानन योगी कश्चन योगी न मुह्यति नोइंग दीज टू पाथ ओ पार्थ नो योगी कश्चन योगी एनी योगी एनी योगी इज नॉट डिल्यूडेड ही नोज राइट फ्रॉम रॉन्ग ही नोज वॉट इज शाश्वत ही नोज वॉट इज अनित्य ही डज नॉट वॉन्ट टू कम बैक ही नोज विच मार्ग विल ब्रिंग मी बैक विच मार्ग विल नॉट ब्रिंग मी बैक सो योगी उपासक knows that he wants brahma loka not any other loka tasmat sarveshu kaleshu yoga yukta he arjuna yoga yukta bhava therefore you also remain as a yoga and being endowed with that yoga don't have any moha this is the idea tasmat sarveshu kaleshu not any at any once in a while yoga yukta bhava he he arjuna yoga yukto bhava sarveshu kaleshu so uh, i'll just take 2 minutes and finish the last shloka also 
I'll leave the Anvaya for you for homework. Shrunutasya Yoga se Mahatmyam. What is the Mahatmya of that Yoga? Vedeshu Yajneshu Tapasu Chaiva Daneshu Yatpunya Phalam Pradishtam Atyeti Tat Sarva Midam Viditva Yogi Paramstana Mupaiti Chadhyam So Vedeshu Yajneshu Tapasu Cha Eva Daneshu In Vedas, In Yajnas, In Tapas in dana, yat punya phalam, whatever punya phala is described, in veda, lot of punya is talked about, in yajnas you get lot of punya, in tapas there is punya, you earn tap the grace of Ishwara to tapas, in dana also you get punya. Pradishtam, whichever is shown, in vedas, whichever punya is shown in yajna, tapa and dana revealed in vedas, Tat sarvam idam viditva yogi param sthanam upaiti chadyam and athyeti tat yat punya phalam pradishtam tat punya phalam athyeti one transgresses that punya phala because punya is tapped not for the phala of swarga why because yoga yuktaha once you are yoga yuktaha then you know that in one marga will bring you back even that upasana if you follow, you follow in Vedas, all upasanas if you follow, karma you follow, yajna you follow, tapa you follow, dana you follow, whatever punya phala you will get, you will either go to the marga, attain the gati, dakshinayana and come back or you will get krama mukti, attain this uttarayana gati and attain brahma loka and their brahma pratipatti jnana and then not come back. So instead of going there, here itself you can get it for Jeevan Mukti. Through Upasana, Brahma, Brahma Loka is very difficult to attain. So yat yat pradishtam, yat punya phalam pradishtam, tat punya phalam atyeti. Here itself, yogi atyeti, tat sarva midam viditva and knowing all of this, having known, viditva means not only knowing, following also, but Knowing the limitations, yogi param sthanam upaiti cha adhyam. Adhyam param sthanam upaiti. He gets that first sthana, he attains that. This is the last look of the 8th chapter. I will quickly look at the bhashya. The, there is nothing much here. I already mentioned that agni hi kala vimani devata or athwa agni hi jyoti hi atha shruteva devate. And then... Uh, why this bhūyasā tu nirdesha yatra kāle tam kālam iti? All that kālā is talked about because āmra vanavat. āmra vanavat is like you talk about the, uh, you know, the mango grow. But it need not be a mango grow. There may, there may be jackfruit trees, there may be coconut trees, but then majorly it is, uh, majority of the trees are mangoes. Therefore, you talk about everything as a mango grow, but it need not be only a mango. Similarly, the, the, there need not be only agni devata. Presided by that, uh, it is bhūyasā nirdesha, yatra kāle, tam kālam. That kāla talked about there is, is not necessarily literal there. That's the idea there. So same with the other uh, paths also. I am interested in the last, last. So we look at the bhāshya of the last and stop. Just give me two minutes. Vedeshu samyag adhiteshu yajneshu cha. So samyag adhiteshu vedeshu. When the Vedas are well understood and in those Vedas whatever is described is understood, Yajneshu cha sadgunyena anushthiteshu. So Yajneshu means Yajna is prescribed not only knowing but in Karma Kanda you have to do. And then Tapa also, anushthiteshu tapasu saptateshu. Satapteshu Danish, sorry, Satapteshu, Tapasu cha Satapteshu, Daneshu cha Samyag Datteshu. So, Tapas is what? Satapta. It is, you have to do it well. The Tapa is something which is prescribed, you deny something to yourself, you, you know, you know, there is a lot of heat, you feel the heat, you feel the heat of Tapas, not literal, but you feel the heat of this the the uh, trouble that you undertake you you trouble yourself by denying 
or uh, whatever Shastra tells you to do, Upvasa Ityadi, the tapas is sutapteshu. So sutap, it should be suttu tapta. I read it as satapta, it is sutapta, sutapteshu. That tapta here, tapa is tapta. Ta is added and then su uh, prefix is added. Suttu tapteshu. And dana is what? Samyak dapteshu. Not any dana. Dana also has to be suttu dana. It should be uh, sattvika dana. Because dana also in uh, later chapters, Bhagavan uh, Krishna is going to talk about uh, various types of uh, sattvika, rajasika and tamasika jnana also. He will talk about uh, dana also. So, samyak dapteshu, that dana, very well done. Sattvika dana. Eteshu yat punya phalam pradishtam, shastrena pradishtam, whichever has been shown through shastras, what punya is attained. Atyeti, atitya gachati, one crosses or transgresses that because it, uh, going beyond that, because they have served their purpose for chitta shuddhi for this hadaka now, tat sarvam phala jatam. Idam viditva, knowing that it is all, kar karma has given some phala, karma can give only limited phala, idam viditva, sapta prashna nirane dvarena uktam, what has begun with seven questions of Arjuna, and answered through all this, well, you know what is Adhyatmika, what is Adhivautika, all of these, which is questioned there. Artham Samyak Avadharya, knowing that and Anushthaya, also practicing, because Yogi, Upasaka can just not know and re remain there. After knowing, he has to practice, thereby Param Utkrushtam Aishwaryam Sthanam Upaiti attains the Param Sthana. Param Sthana is not Utkrushta. The most superior Aishwarya can become one with Hiranyagarbha also. Upayi teacher Pratipadyate and Adhyam is what? Adav Bhavam which is there in the beginning, the first created Hiranyagarbha also. So therefore Karanam Brahma Ityartha. What is Adhyam? Adav Bhavam. Tadhita is Adav Bhavam. Who was, who was the first created, first manifest. First manifest is Hiranyagarbha or Karanam Brahma. So Karanam Brahma Ityartaha. One merges there as an Upasaka who attains that. Krama Mukti Dwara. So this is the eighth Adhyaya. It is Srimat Paramahasa Parivrajaka Acharyasya Shri Govind Bhagavat Puja Padashishyasya Srimat Shankara Bhagavata Krutav Srimat Bhagavad Gita Bhashya Ashtamodhyaya. This is the eighth chapter. Bhashya by Bhagavat Pada Acharya Shankara Bhagavata Bhagavat Pada who is the Shishya of Shri Govinda Bhagavat Puja Pada, who is also Srimat Paramahasa Parivrajaka Acharya. He is a Parivrajaka Sanyasi. And this uh, Bhashya on 8th chapter ends here. Uh, we will see the 9th chapter in the next part. Narayana Paravyakta, Anna Vyakta Sambhum, Andasyanta Stimi Loka, Sapta Dvipa Chame Dini. Any questions? No questions, I assume. Uh, I don't see any questions anyway. Okay, there is a question. Yes, Anand. Um, is this uh, uh, Uttarayana and Dakshinayana to be taken literally in the sense that if someone who is a. Uh, not really. Not okay. really, although Shastra wise, you know, uh, Mahabharata, you have this uh, story also that uh, Bhishma Acharya, uh, Bhishma Pitamaha waited for Uttarayana to start. Yeah. Yeah. So, need not see for an Upasaka or even for a Jnani, why will the Kala matter? Because it is all Mithya, right? Mm. So, for a Jnani, it won't matter. For Upasaka, it would. Upasaka, it is an indicator, but then it is not literal. Because here, see, Kala, uh, you see, Bhashya, it is, the Kala is not literal there. That's why I said that he, uh, in both cases, he talks, otherwise, see, Agni Devata will not make any sense there. Why do you need Agni Devata there? Kala bhi mani ni Devata. And Tatha Jyoti Rapi Devata eva Kala bhi mani ni. Kala bhi mani and Atva Agni Jyoti shi Yatha Shruti eva Devate. Then he says what? Hmm. But Sandmasa shows you the six months. 
but the six months are presided by they can, you can also see that those six months are presided by those deities so it just shows which deity will lead you tatrapi devata eva marga bhuta iti sthita anyatra ayam nyaya tatra tasmin marge prayata mruta gachanti so see tatra tasmin marge gachanti brahma brahma vida and brahma vida is said brahma upasaka brahma upasana paraha janaha kramena iti vakya shesha and then he says uh, he clarifies that see this is for upasakas it may matter but nahi sadyo mukti bhajam those who have partaken of sadyo mukti through jnana because samyak darshan and isthana gati hi agatir va kvachit asti there is no possibility also so for this upasaka you may say that uh, you know these shanmasa devatas marga it, it is applicable only to upasakas See, upasana itself we don't know. What will we do with which marga the upasaka goes? We, see, there is only a, a basic statement here as to uh, one should chant omkara. But that is not sufficient. You, one has to think of Ishwara and chant omkara, right? This is the only thing which has been mentioned. Then in details you see prana has to be brought in and then from hrudaya it has to be taken to uh, brahmarandra. How do you take prana to Brahmarandra? Where is it mentioned? Nowhere in Gita Shastra you will find that. So you will find uh, there are uh, uh, there are uh, methodologies developed or who have learnt in the Sampradaya, they say based on Shruti. So there, there, is, there are one Kundalini uh, set of people who say that we base our Upasana on this. Kriya Yoga, for example, your, the, I think uh, Paramahansa Yogi. Mm -hmm. He says that Kriya Yoga based on Gita. So there, there are a lot of uh, people who follow that. So Kriya Yoga or some Kundalini Yoga, there may be some ways based on this, learn through Sampradaya. So they know how to get the Prana to Hridaya or get the Prana to Brahmarandra and how Jiva should go. But otherwise we don't know. So what, what are we going to do with whether or not uh, this is literal? To me it is not literal, but then for Upasakas it can be because uh, people want to live in Uttarayana. And in Shastras also there are a lot of uh, this thing, right? Uh, when did the person die? Amavasya is not Shubha. All these ideas are there. So Shastra wise, if you follow Shastra, then it can be taken literally also for uh, Upasakas and Karma Kandis. That's why Bhagavan Bhashyakara separates out. Our interest is not Kramena iti Bhakya Shesha. He says all these, uh, this Brahma Vidaha, who, uh, who is affected by this Uttarana, Utta, Uttarayana and uh, uh, Dakshinayana, Kala as well as Marga, they will have Krama Mukti. So, Kramena iti Vakya Shesha. Whereas, in contrast, this chapter also hints about Nirguna Brahma Upasana and also talks about Jnana. So, if it is talking about Jnana there, if you understand this uh, Ananyaya Bhakti there, if you understand Ananya Bhakti and that Bhakti as Ishara is Brahma, uh, that Brahma is me, Ishara is me, then Nahi Sadhya Mukti, that is called as Sadhya Mukti. Here Sadhya Mukti has multi, second interpretation also, but here this is Advaita Mukti. Sadhya Mukti Bhajam Samyak Darshana Nishthanam Gati Agati Rva Kvachid Asti. So Gati hi going or Agati. Punaravartana is not there. Kvachid asti, nasti ityartha. Why? Because na tasya prana utkramanti iti shrute he. Brahad Arnika Shruti says that the pranas atre viliyante. There is no travel involved because prana itself is resolved into its basic components. Brahma salina prana evate, brahma maya, brahma bhuta evate. So they become brahma lina. They merge into brahma which merging is figurative. Therefore, if Uttarayana Shanmasa is all taken literal, it is possible for Upasaka. It may not be literal for Upasaka also, it may be Marga. So, and we don't know what is that, shan, how that Shanmasa Marga is there, because Shanmasa need not necessarily be uh, the Upasaka who has gone away in Dakshinayana also may have, uh, may attain Uttarayana Marga. Because if you interpret as Marga, which Bhagavan Bhashyakara says, Marga is also possible because it is Kala Abhiman. Just because Kala, uh, see, Kala Abhimani Devata need not be there only in that Kala, right? 
See, otherwise we'll have to say in say Uttarayana, say Agnihi and Jyoti are the Kalavavani Devata. Let's assume that. Okay. And say Dakshinayana is going on. So what will happen to this Agni and Jyoti Devata? Will they, will they be resolved? No, they are still there, right? Agni Devata is there, Jyoti Devata is still there. During hmm. day it is there, during uh, night is also the Devatas are there, right? Yeah. So if a person dies in uh, at night or dies uh, in uh, in uh, Dakshinayana, we can't say that the Agni Devata may not lead. We can't assume that. So if you take it literally, then uh, the person, the Upasaka should have uh, left the body in Uttarayana. If it is figurative, it is uh, Abhimani Devata who is Marga Devata, then it is just Marga. Whether the person goes by Uttara, Uttarayana mar, uh, Marga or Dakshinayana Marga, that, that cannot be known by the time of the day. Otherwise, where do you see that the <laughs> Upasaka has to die only in the morning, only in Uttarayana? I, uh, I don't think it is it is literal. Okay. 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 And even if it is, I mean... <laughs> no, there is also, there is a gender belief, right? Like, uh, yes, people will... Yes, there is a belief. For... But I discussed this with my Acharya also. I said that it can be literal also. Uh, because it's a possibility. See, Shastra is there is a possibility. See, the only reason I'm saying it is a possibility is because uh, uh, the very driving home, uh, uh, that point that drives home that is uh, Bhishma Pitamaha waited. Yeah. He had Ichha Mrityu. So why did he wait? So this is what I asked. Why did he wait if uh, it is okay to leave at any point of time? But see, uh, uh, for an Upasaka who is very clear, see the way it is said here, Nahi Sadyo Mukti Bhajam Samyak Darshan Nishtana. One who has Samyak Nishta, the way he has no doubt as to wherever I die, whether I die in a temple, whether in a Tirtak Kshetra, whether on the side of the road or uh, you know uh, in Smashana, I don't care because everything is Mitya. Similarly, Upasaka also we can categorize into two. One Upasaka who is literal and who has that bhaya, oh, I want to go in this particular time, or one who wants for others to follow, or others to have respect uh, that I, you know, with Icha Mrityu, I left at this point of time. To prove that Upasana, uh, there may be some ego driving as well. So if that is the case, then that is one category of Upasaka who goes as per the rule strictly, so that others also follow that. Mm-hmm. And there is another category of Upasakas which are possible uh, who are so convinced about their Upasanas that they don't care at what point and how they live, they will get that Marga. There is conviction needed there because, uh, see for example, uh, Ganapati Muni, mm-hmm. Vasishta Ganapati Muni, it is said that when he left the Sharira, Brahmarandra was literally physically broken. Yeah. I don't know when he left the body, but uh, I mean whether Uttarayana or Dakshinayana. But for Upasakas like him, where he knows that I am going to get Brahmaloka, no matter what, whenever I go. So for them, it is all uh, just, uh, you know, it is just any, just like any other time. Because they know that they will get that Marga. So I think that Upasaka, for Upasakas also, it need not be literal. But some who take it literal, they will be guided by that. <laughs> They will have that fear. Oh, I, you know, uh, towards the end also they'll be feeling, oh, Dakshinayana is going on and I don't want to leave now. So it, that will mm-hmm. also eat away. Mm-hmm. If one is convinced that, yes, I will no matter what, because uh, in uh, Isha Upanishad, Isha Asya Upanishad, you see that prayer. At the end of the death, the Upasaka says, you remember, he, he talks to Hiranyagarbha and says, you remember all that I have done, you recall and you open the Dwara, I want Pravesha there. So with that confidence, if the prayer is made, that I have done all that is required, you cannot, uh, even the Devatas cannot find a flaw. If mm-hmm. that conviction is there, then he can, he says that, Krutasmara, Krutasmara, Krutagasmara. In Isha Asha Upanishad, the uh, Upasaka says, so there are two there, one is the uh, 
Sadhya Mukti there and for Upasakas also the Mukti is talked about there. So there he says, you open the door, uh, you, you take away your shine which is blocking, I can't see the door. He says that whatever I done, you recall that and you, you welcome me, you know. Ehi, ehi. You do this. Uh, some other Upanishad says, ehi, ehi. But that is not Brahma Loka, it is uh, Swarga Ityadi. So I, I particularly think that both interpretations are possible, literal also. Whereas Marga, looking at Kala Vimani and Marga is talked about, thereby uh, both interpretations are possible. Therefore, Tatra Tasmin Marge has been said. So, Marga is not needed otherwise. Uh, I think both interpretations are possible. Okay? Okay. okay. Anything else? That's it. Anyone else? Okay. Namaste. I'll see you next part. Huh?